Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, the beer for today is by Shorts Brewing, uh, and they're out of Elk Rapids, Michigan. Uh, if you'll remember, I actually did another one of these a bunch of episodes back. Um, you can check for it. Um, but this beer is called Stash Bender, and there's really not a whole lot of information. Um, their, their labeling is pretty bare bones. There's no like ABV or IBUs or anything like that. But uh, as you can see, fun label there. Oh man, that man's rocking a hell of a mustache and he's got a party hat on. It does say it was a, a double hop stash to celebrate 10 years. Um, and then it says, I like that party hat. So if you notice, there's a, there's a 10 on that, on the top of the, uh, if my hand's still enough, there's a 10 on the hat. So I guess 10 years of uh, brewing, which is pretty awesome for shorts. I'm assuming since it says double stash, uh, hop stash that it's basically a double IPA. So let's try it out. Um, definitely looks double IPA ish, very um, dark red, dark reddish, amberish coloration to it. Um, let's see how the Eh, not too much on the lacing, although I did just wash this glass, so there may be a little bit of water in there. So, ooh, hmm. It's got a bit of a hay note to it. Earthy pininess definitely coming through. It's one pretty resiny, actually, the more I sniff on it. This is pretty cold, so, you know. It smells a little rye-ish as well. Hmm. It's got that kind of like spice that you get from, from smelling rye. It smells pretty good. Tad bit of citrus in there with all those other notes. It smells nice. Okay. Mouthfeel is a little bit more than I was expecting it was going to be. It's a little more present on the tongue. I was expecting it to be kind of a little closer to a uh, watery, not totally watery, but a little more watery than it, than it currently is. It's got some real kind of sticky presence to it that you almost have to chew just a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. A lot of pininess, a lot of earthy notes, a little bit of like spice in there from hops. It tastes pretty good. It's a, it's a pretty serious beer. And uh, actually this one was sent to me from Matt Harvey. Thank you very much, Matt Harvey, friend out in Chicago. So... Yeah, uh, pretty good beer, definitely a double IPA, and like I said, you know, there's no uh, extra information. There also is no bottle dating, um, so shorts brewing, could you get on it and put the dates bottled on your beer so I know if I'm trying something that's like super fresh or something that's super old, because if this is really old, you know, maybe it didn't hold up the way that I would want it to, or, you know, maybe I just want to get it fresh. Put it in an order to Matt and say, hey, send me a fresh one, uh, like a month or two old, because I'd like to try it more robust. But it tastes pretty solid. Um, if you like, you know, those very piney, spicy, earthy type uh, notes with your double IPAs. Mm-hmm. I'm going to finish this sucker off. Everybody out there, go ahead and get a beer, man. And thanks for watching.